Hi guys, Tommy Aldridge here. Uh, just going through Over the Mountain by Ozzy Osbourne, kind of picking it apart. I had the great honor and privilege of working with uh, Randy Rhodes and Ozzy and Rudy Sarzo and, um, uh, on this tune way back, I don't know, maybe WW2 sometime in that time zone. We're gonna break it down, take it apart inside and out, dissect Mr. Curtis Lake's parts, God rest him. Um, and have some fun with it. The performance that I'm doing is uh, more of an, uh, a live interpretation of, uh, of the song, and it's nice to play with Randy again. <laughs> Boy, I can't tell you how much I miss that, but uh, so uh, we're gonna dissect this guy, and uh, thank you for watching. The intro, Over the Mountain, 16th Note Triplets. I played it a little different than Mr. Kerslake played it. He played it slowed down. Hit speed. I played the same pattern, but I just, as I normally, or sometimes, or oftentimes do, assigned it to a different sound source. So it's... And it's the same pattern on the breakdown, the reintro in the middle of the song behind Randy's solo. Uh, same pattern there. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the drum part, really, I don't know, and this is no disrespect to anyone who's ever played it, but the song really plays itself. The drum part is built in. I mean, following our dear brother Randy and I mean how can you go wrong doing that it's one of those few songs one of the few songs that that has that much character and that much quality in the in the construction of it that it pretty much plays itself uh, and so it's, it's a blast to play uh, I can't tell you the amount of times I got chill bumps playing this song live with with, with Mr. Rhodes and with Rudy and Ozzy and you know Don Airy and you know, Lindsey Bridgewater at the time when he was with the band so it was a really blast such a blast to play live again it plays itself it's a uh, very well constructed tune it's a Randy Rhodes song you know he doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes when it came to his compositions and so uh, give him credit boy he took the download and uh, made the best of it so uh, check it out this is over the mountain
And as far as working with Randy, I mean, he would encourage me to embellish uh, on this particular tune. I mean, the purists will be upset because I may have changed this or changed that or someone else's Michael Borden's interpretation or whoever, you know. It's to each man, it's, it's his own way of faithfully reproducing the song in, in the way that they so choose. And hats off to all the different renditions of this that have been, you know, that have been recorded and played. Uh, and But uh, Mr. Kerslake really stood up uh, on this one and, and, you know, came to the table with the goods and Randy was always again always encouraging me to get heavier can we get heavier can we get heavier so he was always encouraging me and egging, egging, egging me on to make it heavier man make it heavier do your thing make it heavier make it heavier and so I took his advice and I tried to do that you know and I, I hope I didn't take too many liberties with it but just tried to put a little bit of teeth in it, a little bit of hair in it you know and uh, just a little bit more in your face I apologize <laughs> But Randy would have ideas and really specific ones, and he would sing them to you sometimes, drum parts and stuff. And, and teasingly, I would ask him, could you sing it again? And he would sing the exact same drum part, so you couldn't stump him, you know, he knew what he was talking about. What an honor and a privilege it was to be in his company. I hope you enjoy this, and it's uh, so much fun picking these things apart, breaking it down here on Drumeo, and um, look forward to doing several more here coming up. Check it out.